I am Dr. Bina Jaising, Senior Consultant Obstetrician and Laparoscopic Gynecologist at Columbia Hospitals on Sarjapur Road. I have special interest in management of high-risk pregnancies and laparoscopic gynec surgeries. Thyroid disorder or thyroid function disorder, as we all know, is the second most endocrine disorder in the reproductive age group of a woman. So understandably, that is one of the commonest endocrine disorder that we face during pregnancy. The thyroid gland is stressed during pregnancy. It increases by about 10% during pregnancy and increases the output of its hormones by about 50%. So the thyroid stimulating hormone, the TSH as it is commonly known, is much less in levels when compared to the non-pregnant state. A fetus requires normal thyroid hormone levels in the mother for its normal development. And in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy, the fetus is entirely dependent on the mother for its thyroid hormones. So the latest recommendation guidelines on the levels state that in the first trimester, that is the first three months of pregnancy, the TSH level should be maintained less than 2.5. In the second and third trimester, the levels are somewhere between 0 0.2 to 0.3 to a maximum of 3 milli international units per litre. So, when we find that the TSH levels are more than 2.5, we go ahead and measure the T4 levels. If the T4 levels are normal, we call it subclinical hyperthyroidism and further we go on to check the antithyroid peroxidase antibody level and based on that we decide whether we have to give the thyroid replacement or not. In the background of the TSH being high and the T4 levels being low, then we are dealing with overt hyperthyroidism. So in which case we go ahead with thyroid replacement drugs. So when a person with hypothyroidism plans for pregnancy, it is very important to keep her levels by adjusting the dose of the thyroid hormones to less than 2.5 starting from the periconceptional period that is much before you miss your period throughout the pregnancy especially the first 20 weeks of pregnancy. We have spoken about hypothyroidism but let's not miss on a small but a very significant entity called hyperthyroidism that is overacting thyroid thyrotoxicosis and commonly in pregnancy it's because of Graves disease. It is an autoimmune condition where there are autoantibodies that are produced by the body that go and trigger the TSH receptors resulting in increased production of TSH. So now that is a concern whether in the background of a thyroid disorder will there be chances of having a congenitally defective baby. So long we did not see any such connection but now there are certain new links and studies that are surfacing more so with hypothyroidism linking it with a possibility especially in overt and untreated hypothyroidism with an increased chance of having a baby with a congenital heart disease and less so having babies associated with renal abnormalities kidney developmental abnormalities developmental abnormalities related to the central nervous system and cleft palate.